Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro and welcome to my weekly finds video part 91. As you know, a couple of yeah weeks, months ago, I hit the mother load when it comes to uh, PC big box collection. It was over a thousand big boxes or a thousand PC games in, in one haul. I made a video about it, the biggest PC collection ever. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. But I think this video is going to show a close second because I got a ton of big boxes incoming. Or actually not incoming, they're right outside of the view of the camera and I'm going to show them to you now. And there are some amazing games in there. Some of these big boxes that you're going to see at least two or three are ones I've been looking for for a very, very, very long time and they're incredibly rare. So let's get started and uh, these are all mixed up so there's no uh, real schedule in these. First up, Phantasmagoria, a classics version. Call of Cthulhu, Prisoner of Ice. Realms, limited edition with two extra levels. This is not Realms of Arcadia, I think, because it doesn't look the same. The Perfect General, Lands of Lore Part 3, and Quest for Glory Anthology, which has, I believe, Part 1, 2, 3, and 4. So not Part 5. The next six, Time Lapse, Conspiracy, Space Quest Collection with 1 through 5. There's also a Space Quest Collection with Part 6 added to it. King's Quest Collection Part 1 through 6. Space Quest 6 and Hand of Faith from the Fables and Friends series. This is a re-release of Lands of Lore Part 1, The Throne of Chaos. Then we have Subport 2050, The Underwater Combat Simulator. Starship Titanic. Jazz Jackrabbit 2, which includes Part 1. Fantasy Pack, which has Pompeii, Odyssey, and Aztec, and Star Wars X-Wing Alliance. After this set of big box, we're going to take a quick step away from the PC and go to some Nintendo stuff. Um, Torrent's Passage, Return to Zork, Harvest of Souls, which is Shivers Part 2. And this game actually has Metal Jesus Rocks in it. Um, you know Metal Jesus Rocks, he's one big YouTube guy, also a retro collector, retro gamer. Has a great channel, check it out if you don't know it yet. But a lot of people that uh, subscribe to me came from uh, his video, um, shout out to me. But he's actually playing a part in this video, in this game. Um, Titanic, Discover the Mystery, Egypt 2, The Heliopolis Prophecy, and Zero Zone 2098 After Christ. Like I said, a quick break away from the PC stuff, off to some Game Boy stuff. This whole set cost me 30 euros in total. Metroid 2, Return of Samus, Samus. Uh, Super Mario Land 2, Gauntlet 2, Super RC Pro-Am, Kirby's Dream Land, Robin Hood, Pro Protector Part 2, Bubble Ghost, Bart vs. the Juggernauts, Terminator 2, and Tetris, and of course the Game Boy itself with one of those cool carrying cases which can hold up to six games. This is one of the, uh, the better carrying cases in my opinion. Then also two Nintendo 64 games that I have over here. Lyot Wars, which is um, Star Fox 64 and Bomberman 64. And this is just a cartridge, but I have a complete uh, box with manual laying around, so I'm going to make that complete and add it to my collection. That's the good thing if you ever find loose boxes, always keep them because who knows, someday you might be able to fill them up and have a cheap complete copy. Then some more PC games. This is Quest for Glory 5, so that's not on the collection that I showed earlier. Frankenstein Through the Eyes of the Monster with Tim Curry. If you're from my age, you remember this guy from one thing and one thing only. He was that annoying hotel clerk in uh, Home Alone 2. X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter Balance of Power. Atlantis The Lost Tales. Mist 3 Exile Collector's Edition, which has a strategy guide, soundtrack and some more stuff. And this is an old one, Power Monger. And just look at the graphics, you can see that that's quite an old PC game. I love those. The New Adventures of the Time Machine, Urban Runner, Gabriel Knight 2, The Beast Within, uh, Rama, but this is a German version. It's the only German game in the set, by the way, which is a good thing. Uh, Schism, never had this in the big box version, and uh, Creature Shock. And as usual, I'm keeping the best for last, so you haven't seen those amazing big boxes yet. So. They will be coming up later. First, more big boxes. Ripley's Believe It or Not, The Riddle of Master Lou. Lands of Lore 2, Gardens of Destiny, as you can see, it was a complete Lands of Lore set. Amazon, the X-Wing Collector Series, which has X-Wing, TIE Fighter, and X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter. 
Safe Cracker, never heard of that. X Wing vs. TIE Fighter, another. The Elk Moon Murder and Pagan Ultima 8, which is a complete copy with the coin, with the map, with everything. So, more adventures, and as you can see, these are basically all adventure games. This was the collection of an adventure gamer, which is a good thing because adventures are usually either cool or hard to find. Arc of Time, Sign of the Sun, Journeyman Project 3, Legacy of Time, Shivers Part 1, Maj Majestic Part 1, Alien Encounter, Lighthouse, The Dark Being, Montezuma's Return, which has a really cool embossed cover. It kind of has an Indiana Jones thing going, doesn't it? Then Foul 7 Games of the Soul, and this game is so ridiculously dirt common, I think I have 10, 15 copies now. Every big box set that I buy has one. And then Sin Factor, finally an English version, usually I find this in Dutch version. And again, really cool artwork, just see this the brain on top. That looks so amazing. Might even keep it just because, I, I don't know the game, never played it, but this box looks so amazing. Might just keep it just for that. So those were the, well not generic, but not the super big boxes, because those are, will be coming up later. Time for the second part of the video, the stuff that came in in the later half of the week. Uh, by the way, it's smoldering hot in this room at the moment, but um, it's worth sweating it out for you guys to show you the stuff that I got. So first some game and watch slash LCD handheld games, Donkey Kong Jr. This one is Sea Ranger. It's complete in box, and it's actually quite a fun game. Really, uh, rem yeah, it's one of the. You have. Let, let me just say it like this: you have two types of LCD games. You have the cheap, not so fun ones, and you have the good ones. Uh, the Nintendo Game and Watch are usually the good ones, but there's also other brand ones which are quite good, and Sea Ranger is one of those. Same goes for Shark Island from Tandy, which has uh, actually two screen modes. You have first a screen mode where you attack the sharks, and then you go on top of the island and bash the sharks' heads in, and that's quite special. I don't have a lot of these LCD games that uh, have two modes. Then uh, there's this one, it's Cowboy Rodeo, but um, I didn't read the advert correctly and the screen is busted. So this is just a complete copy, but it's busted. Then PlayStation 2 games. Uh, you may have noticed, but recently I've been buying up a lot of uh, PlayStation 2 RPGs and that's basically, basically because they're still affordable now and won't be in the future probably. Shadow Hearts from the New World, Rogue Galaxy, This Guy at 2, Cursed Memory, Artonalico Part 2, then there's Artonalico Part 1, Melody of Alemia, Adelaide Iris 3, 2, and 1, so that's the whole Adelaide Iris series, Suikoden 5, and Wild Arms 3, then some PC stuff. Over here we have Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven, Baldur's Gate, Severin's Blade of Darkness, and another copy of the Duke Nukem 3D Kiloton collection. Took me quite a while to find my collection copy and only a few weeks later I find a second one. This isn't as nice as my collection copy but it's still really hard to find and uh, one of the coolest Duke Nukem sets in my opinion. Before we get to the stuff that I'm keeping from my own collection it's time for some Nintendo cartridges. First up NES, Super Mario Bros. 2 Tecmo World Wrestling, Jungle Book, Gold 3, uh, Gold 1, sorry, Super Mario Bros. 3. Actually, if you haven't noticed it yet, I posted a video last week on the Super Mario Bros. Pirates for the NES. It's a review of four different pirate cartridges and um, really worth checking out, in my opinion, at least. Super Spike V-Ball, Flintstones, Mega Man 2, then we have a Honeybee Converter with a Super 650 in 1. This Honeybee is considered to be the best Famicom Converter. And 260 in 1, also a multi-cartridge. Pirate cartridge. Then for the Super Nintendo, the Super Game Boy, and cartridges. Parodius, one of the coolest shoot 'em ups in my opinion. Zelda Link to the Past, Street Racer, Goof Troop, Asterix, Super Danny, Kick Off 3, the European Challenge, Doom, International Superstar Soccer, Mortal Kombat 3, Cool Spot. And the last one is Donkey Kong Country. So some quite good games in there. Also have two complete sets, complete games actually. UN Squadron, which is considered to be the best shoot 'em up on the Super Nintendo. This one is uh, with the box missing the manual and a Super Nintendo controller in the box. Then we're off to the stuff that I'm keeping. As usual, I'm gonna save the very, very best for the last. So we have a little build up here. First off, Mad Dog McCree, the PC big box version. Been looking for this for quite a while, got it from a fellow PC collector. And like I said before, I loved this game as a kid, but my 
yeah, it wasn't even a 386, it was something before that. It had 24 megabyte hard drive, uh, I think 65k RAM. This game just didn't run, but I still played it. The problem was that once in a while, or actually most of the times, when I clicked and I had to shoot, um, the computer was too slow and I was already dead. So I saw the Gravekeeper in this game quite a lot, but still I kept on playing. Then a really old Sierra uh, adventure game, The Black Cauldron, based on a Disney series. And as you can see here, it really resembles the King's Quest games and it looks really old and I love that. Then Quest for Glory Part 1, so you want to be a hero. Also an old Sierra adventure. It's a little newer as you can see uh, in the gameplay footage. Um, than the one I just showed, but still a really old one, quite hard to find as well. Then Guy Spy, Crystals of Armageddon, and this guy just screams. Uh, for me, this really resembles uh, that scene from the intro of DuckTales. Not sure why, maybe because this kind of resembles a lamp. And it also has a whole Indiana, Indiana Jones vibe going, and uh, I love that. Love point-and-click adventures, love these old games, so uh, definitely keeping that one. Duke It Out in DC, already had it, but this one is a nicer copy and Half-Life Blue Shift, which is the second to last Half-Life expansion I needed. I still need um, one more, can't think of the name at the moment. So then one game for Sega Saturn, it's Shinobi X. Already had this, but my disc was broken, so bought this one to get a good working disc in there. So four more games to go, and let's first do another PC game. Duke the Apocalypse. This is another Duke collection like the Duke Nukem Kiloton collection I showed before but it comes with a t-shirt and the t-shirt is still in this set which is a rare thing because t-shirts usually go missing and if they're still in there they're very worn or used but this one is in great condition. Uh, this game comes with Duke Extreme and Duke Zone 2 by the way. Let's see if there's any more out there. Um, no, it's just those two. So it's not really a very playable set, the other one is better, but it's uh, hard to find complete. Then something for the PlayStation 2 that I had been looking for for a long, long time. And um, just looking at this, you probably don't know what it is. If you do know what it is, please reply, because you know a lot then. This is, hard to show you, maybe this makes a little more sense. This is the God of War 2 promo kit, press kit in the bottom, it's really hard to show this because it's really light it says Mount Olympus can show you a little there and it has the God of War 2 uh, demo disc and here in the bottom it has a little slip you have just opened the mythical Pandora's box and released the anger of Arathos, no Kratos before commencing your journey through untold horrors, pray to Poseidon he shall reveal the location of the godly gift. This is, um, you're supposed to make this wet to see a special message. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna ruin this kit. Really small press kit, not has a lot of stuff with it, but really rare and uh, goes nice with my God of War 1, 3 and uh, PSP versions press kits. So the last two games, these are games that I've been looking for for a long time. Um, I can't say which one I'm more happy with, so first I'm going to show you the one that I consider less rare. There you go. Do we need to say something? Yeah, okay, let's say something, because else it's just pictures. This is Mega Man X3, big box PC version. I don't need to add this, but yeah, it's incredibly rare. It's by far the rarest version of X -Man, of Mega Man X3, rarer than the Super Nintendo version, but less pricey, because Super Nintendo, of course, has a lot more collectors for it. Um, basically, this is just Mega Man X3, and this completes my X3 set. I now have the Sega Saturn, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, and PC version. Maybe I should do a video about that. Um, I picked this as not my number one of this week, because I did pay... Uh, price for this one. I think I paid around a hundred euros and um, so it's not really a steal. It's, it's worth double, it's worth around 200 so it's a good price but it's not a steal. The next one I'm going to show you was an absolute steal. I paid five euros for this and this is an incredibly desired and hard to find PC game in absolute complete mint condition. It's Loom, one of the first Lucasfilm uh, adventure games and it comes with everything, even with the hint book and the, the, little, the little glasses. There's also a 5.25 inch version of this game, but this is the 3.5 inch floppy version. 
So this is definitely the, the pinnacle of my Lucas, uh, Lucas Arts collection at this moment and I'm really really happy to have this, especially for that amazing price. So I hope you enjoyed watching this again and uh, be, uh, be sure to see the next video next week and uh, of course check out my channel for other videos like the Mario review I, I posted last week. Uh, like me on facebook.com slash drretromd to stay up to date on everything and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching, bye bye.